Peace, 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 peace. Pow. Pow. Uh, uh. Mad liberator. Death operator. Rock the data. Amazing flavor. Yo, the way I fell. Sometimes it's too hard to sit still. Things are so passionate, times are so real. Sometimes I try to chill, mellow down, blow a smoke. A smile on my face, but it's really no joke. You feel it in the street that people breathe without hope. They going through the motion, they dimming down the focus. The focus get cleared, and the light turns sharp, and the eyes grow teary. The mind grow weary. I speak it so clearly, sometimes y'all don't hear me. I push it past the base, no nations got to feel me. I feel it in my bones, black. I'm so wide awake that I'm hardly ever sleeping. Cool, so we're here today with one of my good friends, Cam, who moved out to Hong Kong after working his way up in one of the London stuff grooming establishments. And what we want to find out of him is why he moved out here, what he aims to achieve, and how the barbering scene differs to the UK. Can you tell everyone about yourself and about your career from beginning till now? So I started when I was 15 years old. I started by cutting a lot of my friend's hair and all of my cousin's hair and stuff. Started doing patterns and stuff that was cool, you know, stuff that was kind of artistic and that people wanted doing and that I enjoyed doing. So that's, that's where it started from. And then kind of just as, as I carried on doing it, I kind of just got a bit better at it. Um, my mum has owned a salon for as long as I can remember. And although I never actually learned anything technically from her, she's always been an influence on my life and she's like the happiest person I know. So nothing, there was nothing there to deter me from pursuing barbering as a career. You know, I always had everything I wanted as a child and had a pretty good childhood growing up and stuff like that. So it didn't, there was nothing there to really deter me from it. So that's, that's why I carried on. And it made me happy, you know. It, it, there was never a time where I actually felt like I was working. And, you know, find a job that you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. So that's what I've, that's what I've gone for. And what have you found in Hong Kong for barbering? Um, to be honest, since I've, I've been here kind of coming up two years now, and barbering the way I know it and you know it from back home or e even viewers in the States would know it, it really doesn't exist in Hong Kong. Um, so like the kind of banter you would get and the kind of brotherhood that you would kind of build up within a barbershop, you know, guys doing stuff for guys, that kind of thing, doesn't really exist out here. It does, it's, it's kind of, I think hairdressers kind of took over. And this is the one question I always get asked by clients is, oh, what's the difference between a hairdresser and a barber? I mean, to be honest, if you've been to either, you'd know the difference. Is there's, there's a huge difference in atmosphere, definitely in haircuts. Um, and yeah, and the relationship you're going to build up with your barber, and it's just something that doesn't exist out here. It's, it's very kind of yes sir, no sir. Um, and even though we're in a, um, you know, this is a five star establishment, I like to try and keep the whole yes sir, no sir, in the office and not in here. I like to be very casual with my clients, um, give them a good service, treat them like friends, like family, and you know, let the good times roll. And do you think the locals, when they've started to become returning clients, they can differentiate between the you know, hairdressers and the barbershop? Oh, definitely. I mean, like as soon as you pull out a pair of clippers and you educate the client as to why this is not a bad bit of kit and the, 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 the differences and the different looks you can actually achieve using different tools and to just chill out and not be scared. Yeah, I mean, they're coming back for a reason, right? So, um, and I think as long as we just carry on that, and you know, if it's not fixed, why, why, you know, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know, that is that kind of thing. And this, the people, the barbers have been doing this for years. So, and we just carry on doing what we're doing and try and educate as well as clients, trying to educate more barbers as well. You know, people coming in and want to learn a trade. That's also something that's a great thing. What would you say to young barbers just starting out about, you know, the different avenues that barbering can take you? Um, I think no matter where you are in the world, if you're barbering, you should love what you do um i think the one thing i hate the most is when i meet a barber that says they're just doing it until they can do something else and i i, I feel like that's a real slap in the face i think you if you're doing something whatever it is you should do it to the best of your ability you should be doing it because you want to do it and because there's a passion for it um to be honest i've always just done what i love to do and taken advantage of different doors that have been opened and different paths that have been presented to me um it's a, it's a Definitely a combination of passion and, and just doing what you do and right time, right place. Um, I think you can definitely kind of vouch for that as well um, as me being here. So we're on the same path and we both know and can both share the same story in that sense. 
and any young barbers they just need to carry on doing what they're doing if they don't like it stop doing it good advice And why are salons more popular than barbershops in Hong Kong? Because 生意額呢,即係營業額要賺多少少錢呢,就所以男女都要做,要識做啦,都依家係咁啦,就冇話分開女還女男還男個個鋪頭啦。And how popular is shaving in Hong Kong? 即係啊。佢話,嗱,如果呢啲呢,呢隻都睇到呢,同埋呢一隻呢個有分別,點解呢?嗱,呢隻怪上嚟都唔齊整啦。不乾淨,但這一隻看上去比較齊整,乾淨一點 and how does someone go about learning to cut hair here? 你想如果你想入行做這行呢,有兩個途徑嘅。第一,可以係即係發現學校度,即係慢慢讀一兩年就再轉入去,一係呢就入沙龍學洗頭做小工,咁你跟師傅學,咁學到咁上下呢就自己